Just give us a brief introduction. Uh, I am Akash Patnaik uh, from Bhubaneswar. Uh, I have completed my uh, Bachelor in Technology from Veer Surendra Sai University of Technology, Bulla, uh, in 2014 in Electrical Engineering. And uh, uh, currently I am uh, preparing for uh, Civil Services uh, examination from uh, 2017. Prior to that, uh, I was uh, working in uh, Larson and Tubro uh, as a Senior Engineer. I was uh, posted in uh, 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 RJGY job uh, that is rural electrical job in uh, Lakhimpur Kiriya district in uh, UP. Uh, my hobby is uh, playing uh, badminton and uh, uh, and some of my achievements are uh, I have a I am a A certificate uh, holder in NCC and uh, in my uh, college I was a member of the Sanskar Kendra team. It was a team uh, to uh, give uh, free tuitions for the poor children in that uh, village nearby Burla. So tell me something about your school from where you passed your 10th standard. Sir, I have completed my 10th from uh, Dayananda Anglo Vedic uh, Public School, uh, Pokripur, Bhuvaneshwar. Okay, uh, and uh, plus 2? Plus 2 also I have uh, done from the same school that is DV Public School, Pokripur. Okay, and uh, then your graduation? Sir, uh, I have done my graduation in uh, Electrical Engineering from uh, Veer Surendra Sai University of Technology, Burla. And post graduation you have not done? No sir, I am not done. So, you tell me something about the uh, Dayanand and Anglo Vedic movement and uh, the, its contribution to Indianization of education. So the uh, Dayanand Anglo Vedic movement was uh, started uh, by the Swami Dayanand Saraswati uh, with the establishment of Arya Samaj in 1875 in Bombay. Uh, he was a social reformer and he uh, gave uh, most importance to education and uh, he believed in the uh, infallibility of the Vedas and uh, he thought that uh, it was a repository of uh, knowledge. He, at the same time, he also advocated uh, the English education uh, with the modernization of Indian tradition. Uh, after his uh, death, uh, the uh, liberals they established a chain of uh, schools uh, known as the DAV, the Anand Anglo Vedic uh, Public Schools. Okay. So, what is the motto of your school, DAV schools? Sir, work is worship. Work is worship. So, something must be there in Sanskrit also? Tarvanya Vadigarastam, Mahapale Sukarasam, I think. Okay. So, and what optionals you have chosen for the exam? Sir, my optionals are uh, Sociology and uh, Geography. Sociology and Geography. Yes. Okay. So, let us start with Sociology. Yes. Um, so, tell me something about the concept of uh, dominant class. What do you mean by dominant class? Dominant class? Mm -hmm. Sir, actually, not dominant caste, but I am not a dominant class. Mm -hmm. Sir, I know about dominant caste, which was a concept given by M. N. Srinivas. Hmm. Similarly, when you, you know, so take class into consideration, what is the what are the major differences between class and caste? Sir, uh, they, um, on this topic, the class and caste, many uh, uh, sociologists have different opinions. Uh, mm -hmm. Like uh, some think that uh, uh, they are completely different, uh, as in that uh, caste is an uh, uh, hierarchical uh, structure, but uh, uh, class is an uh, stratified uh, structure in which the uh, mobility is higher. But uh, some uh, sociologists like Andre Bethe, they think that uh, this uh, their uh, interdependence uh, uh, between the class and caste structure, as he has uh, studied in the Sri Puram Villas in caste, caste and power, caste, class and power in his book. Okay. So, what are the steps that the government has taken? to solve this problem of caste discrimination in India. What is your opinion about promotion of inter-caste marriage as a solution to it? Sir, the government has uh, taken many uh, steps. Uh, some uh, major steps have been uh, there in the constitution itself uh, by uh, uh, providing uh, the right to equality, right to freedom and all in the fundamental rights itself. And after that also the government is, uh, has provided uh, a reservation uh, for the backward uh, classes, uh, the STs, STs, uh, SC, SCs and OBCs. Mm -hmm. uh, and about inter-caste marriage, uh, I think that uh, it is uh, 
better uh, in the, as it is promoting uh, the caste mobility but uh, uh, still uh, the people are uh, not uh, have, they have not accepted it uh, uh, from their uh, inner sense so it should be in a sense that they accept the marriage not that it is uh, forced on them the it is done but the acceptance has not uh, been uh, so much because uh, still we find that uh, examples of khap panchayat and uh, honor killings in the in the sense of the inter, inter caste marriages so that acceptance has not uh, been uh, achieved till date okay so in the indian society if you talk about the indian society then um, what is the what are the reasons for which the joint family system is slowly breaking down and what are its consequences sir in uh, indian context uh, recently we find the breaking down of uh, joint families uh, uh, majorly due to this uh, 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 globalization and uh, industrialization and uh, uh, mainly the people are moving uh, uh, the migration is taking place for in search of uh, job and better opportunities so the uh, joint family system which was mainly found in the rural areas are now uh, breaking down into nuclear families uh, and uh, the consequences uh, b- which we can find uh, is that the neglection of the old age population and uh, the mushrooming of the old age homes as we can see and there is a neglect of the senior citizens okay uh, government recently not recently let's say within the last 5 years has passed some laws uh, which strictly deal with this problem of uh, you know children arriving their parents can you tell me something about it so i am not able to recall no. okay uh, other optional is geography geography okay so in geography um, can you tell me the various uh, stages of pink and devil cycle sir uh, uh, that the, they have suggested are uh, the uh, three stages that is the uh, youth maturity and uh, the old stage and uh, davis has uh, given a time dependent uh, model and uh, he said that uh, uh, the landform is a uh, function of uh, structure process and uh, stage that is time and but uh, pink uh, uh, criticizing uh, the davis model he has given a time uh, uh, independent uh, model of uh, landform development so what are can you tell me can you mention three or uh, these two landforms which are formed by ground water karst topography okay. ground water mm, yes sir no not remembering the something uh eolian landforms formed by air uh, sir uh, that is a uh, sand dunes uh, burchans or uh, sand dunes and uh, uh Okay. Uh, in geography, okay. So there is something called representative fraction. Where is the truth? So sorry, sir. I can. Representative fraction R F. Where is that used? R F. Which place you go? That is used to the map scale. Is representative fraction. Okay. Okay. We use cartography. Okay. Uh, next, you uh, can. Tell me, like uh, you know the bottom really feature of Indian Ocean. Oh, sorry, sir, I'm not remembering. Okay. So, suppose you are, uh, you know, going to an exam, very important exam. Yes. Okay. You are already late. In the sense that within 15-20 minutes, exam will start, and you suddenly see a man. Okay, he falls down. He is very serious. Yes. What are you going to do? You will take him to the hospital, or you will go to your exam. sir uh, i'll definitely uh, uh, attend to that person and uh, if it is possible that uh, someone else is available to take him to the hospital i'll make sure that mane uh, he is uh, uh, taken to the hospital then i'll leave for my exam if not uh, some uh, nobody is available for that then i'll definitely carry him to the hospital that will be my first priority okay so you will miss your exam yes sir definitely okay 
okay so uh, tell me something about uh, the recent measures taken by government of india to boost the indian economy sir uh, the many schemes have been launched by the central government like the uh, make in india the skill uh, india and uh, also the um, major thrust has been uh, is given on the msme sector uh, for the development of the economy and uh, for the uh, uh, increase of the foreign direct investment also many steps has been taken to uh, uh, ease the uh, business uh, standard like uh, and the custom duties and all is have been relaxed to so that the foreign direct invest investment is increased in the indian economy hmm. okay so uh, tell me something what is the uh, reason that although despite there is so much of natural resource in odisha still odisha is a backward state or still it is a developing state Although we have lot of mineral resources in our state, what sir, do you think is the reason for that? Sir, uh, what I think is uh, one of the major reasons for this uh, is the um, uh, frequent uh, natural uh, calamities which the state is uh, facing every year, like flood and cyclone. Every year, uh, Odisha is hit uh, by uh, one cyclone or flood every year. It is uh, uh, faced. And one more thing, what I uh, find is that the lack of proper implementation uh, may be a reason for this. Uh, on development of the state or less development mm -hmm. okay what is the solution then according to you sir uh, i think that uh, there must be a robust uh, disaster management system it put in place so that uh, the uh, the impact of the calamity is reduced and also uh, there need to be a uh, administrative uh, changes so that uh, the implementation is uh, done uh, better and the uh, government is also taking steps like uh, our cm has recently uh, emphasized on the 5t uh, formula to uh, increase the efficiency in the administrative system okay so uh, what is the foreign country has bestowed its highest civilian award on our prime minister yes. which country is that sir ue and what is the name of the award uh, i am not able to recall the name of the award okay so that will be the end of the interview Thank, Thank you. you.